Hello everybody and welcome to uh, part 3 in learning animation in your platformer. Uh, so now let's kind of stray away from the fade animation. Uh, I believe that um, we will get an error of some sort or something for some reason but uh, when that happens then we will address that. Uh, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to go to our screen manager class manager.h and we're going to add in a uh, we can make this a uh, void private because nothing else is going to be calling it except for the base class so let's call it void transition and um, we're going to make a private variable and we're going to say uh, we'll call it lowercase transition and let's look at screen manager.cpp so let me initialize our class. We're gonna say transition is equal to false and so on and so forth. So let's create our, our transition uh, method right now. Okay, so for our transition method, we're gonna have a, um, s some certain things. We're gonna say that transition is equal to true. No, actually, we're going to say in the add screen, we're going to say transition is equal to true. So in our transition method, we're going to say that if transition is so if that's equal to true, then we're going to do our transition um, um, stuff, right? But before we even get into that, uh, what we're going to do, our transition is, is oh, it can consist of um, an image, right? Uh, we could always use a black image uh, to fade in and out with but uh, now that I think about it um, that's what I did with the other two but when I think about it we we can also use the window uh, clear I believe it has an overload uh, yeah for a color and we could use the color to change the alpha value and that can be used to um, uh, to, to clear this the screen in the way that we want to clear it with right uh, so what we should do is we'll say that window clear SF color will have uh have 0.0 f 0.0 f uh, 0.0 f and we'll have a screen manager uh, we'll say get instance uh, dots um and we'll create a new function we'll say get alpha or we'll say what's our animation called no we'll just get a get alpha function uh, simple so what we're gonna do in stream manager is we're gonna create a, a get alpha alpha function and we'll make this a float value so get alpha float so in screen manager uh, right here what we're gonna have to do is sorry we're gonna have to go back to screen manager dot age and we're gonna have to make it an instance of our fade animation so what we're gonna include is our fade animation uh, and we're going to make an instance of it fade animation and we'll call it fade and I hope that works. It doesn't it's not lighting up. Uh, let me just build it. It's giving us an error. It says no such follow directory fade animation. So let's check. Okay, uh, I fixed the problem. The problem was that um because I transferred my files from code blocks to Visual Studio, um, the, the parent directory was looking at my old project folder rather than my new project folder. Uh, so that was a problem. But anyways, I got it included now. So we got a fade. Uh, we got our fade animation in there now. So um, let's open up screenmanager.cpp now. Okay, so uh, at at initialization, we need to uh, we need to call fade uh, dot load content. Now for the string that we're not going to be displaying any string, um, and we're not going to be displaying any image or um, 
or anything so for the stream we're just gonna put that for image we're just gonna put null and for position um we'll just put uh just create a sf vector 2 or since i don't think we can put null there from int to sf image so i don't know if we can put let's see what we could put sf image on hmm I don't know what what we should do just create a default SF image and we'll just say image in there and for position we'll do the same thing uh, vector 2f and we'll just pass it in there so what we got to do now is for in our animation.cpp file uh, we got to say that um, if image uh, if image is equal to null or I guess it can't equal if not image hmm I would say get height is less than or equal to zero so I guess if it doesn't have a height then um, no we say if it's greater than then we, we load it. If it has anything less than that, then it's probably undefined or it doesn't have a value or anything like that. Um, but we'll fix that later. So what we do is, and we should probably call this in the load content method. Uh, so let's copy this stuff. Uh, so uh, we load in the fade animation content and we're going to be calling the the fade update in whenever transitions equals to true. So we're going to say fade uh, dot update, and we need a window. So and let us copy this and just paste it in here. Okay. So we have a render window. So what we need to do is um, in our animation class, uh, let's look at animation.h. Uh, before we we had set alpha, we had a virtual void, and there was a reason why I had a virtual void um, because of the image concept. But uh, for now, we're just gonna say um, we're gonna say float get alpha. Okay. And uh, in this, we're just going to say that void no float and we just return the alpha value. So now in screen manager, uh, get alpha. So where are we going to put this uh, float screen manager? Uh, we have to return fade dot get alpha okay uh, so we got that set up uh, so what we're gonna say is that uh, if fade dot get alpha is greater than or no if it's less than or equal to 0, 0.0 f uh, then we have to execute this stuff right here so what we're gonna do right now is we're going to um, yeah, we're going to what what we're going to do is we're going to do we have a new screen variable? Okay, no. So what we're going to do is for the in the private section, we're going to have a game screen and we're going to just call this new screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to say that new screen is equal to screen. And for the animation, sorry if it seems like I'm just transitioning through different source files, but uh, I'm just trying not to forget anything. Uh, so we gotta also get a set active um, function in animation.h. Make sure it's public, and we'll say set active, and it should take in a value. Sorry, a boolean value, and in there we'll set active equals to value. So just putting a value in there, bool value. 
So we're also going to uh, screenmanager.cpp. We're going to, oh, and this should be a pointer. Sorry. Should be a pointer. And we're going to say that fade.setActive is equals to true. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this right here. And we're going to paste this in here and format that. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that uh, current screen is equal to new screen. And because we have a pointer in the new screen, uh, what we got to do after is since it's pointing to that screen or whatever, it will, when we delete it, it it will delete it by default whenever we delete the current screen because the current screen whenever we add it to a new screen it will delete it automatically uh, so basically when we call unload content or do we even have an unload content in our screen manager I don't even think so we don't have an unload content which is what which we need uh, but in our unload content uh, what we should call we should just set it to null so it doesn't become a dangling pointer and this is going to be called the end of the program so it doesn't really matter uh, but but just in case anything uh, uh, so what we should do is just uh, make a new screen actually we don't even have to need we don't even need to call that in um unload content we just call new screen equals to null right here so it doesn't become a dangling pointer uh so uh what's gonna happen right now is um i'm gonna end the tutorial here but i'm gonna explain it quickly because i've been just doing a lot of rambling uh so basically when if transitions equals to true then our fade animation our, our fade update is gonna work right it's going to decrease the value until it reaches zero. Once it decreases, when it reaches zero, that means it's completely faded out, and therefore we should um, change the screen to our new value. And then it's going to keep on updating until um, we're going to set that up. When it's done updating, then it's going to show our screen again, but it's going to show our new screen. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial, and in the next tutorial, we'll finish it off.